Hey sirs, how's it going? It's Brad Whelan, also known as JimmyJ57, and right here what you're watching is a quick game of some sharpshooter on the map hijacked, where I actually ended up winning the game for once, which is pretty awesome, because I usually don't win the game, so I felt pretty boss. But anyways, what I want to talk about today was that the console wars are just getting started, and not to rush your decision. So, like, everyone after E3 pretty much had it decided completely against Microsoft. Now, I'm not like going towards Microsoft right now, but I'm just saying, as you saw yesterday, if you saw any of those videos about the Microsoft taking off their DSR or DSRM and giving you the ability to use used games, you saw that obviously they can make huge turnarounds because it's so early in the next gen console wars because there's like six months till these next gen systems come out so they can make so many changes to go for the, what the consumers want that it's not even begun basically like they can do tons more and i've heard tons of people say it, it is literally only round one so i want to make this video today telling you guys that you shouldn't rush your decisions yet now i know at e3 they showed a whole bunch of awesome stuff and p uh, like sony literally won e3 and I, def I definitely wanted a PS4 after that press conference and after how bad Xbox did. But seeing Microsoft turn their whole thing around like that reminded me that they can still make tons of changes before the consoles even come out. Like, both companies can easily make price drops. They can make different, like, hardware adjustments if they really wanted to to their systems. It would be a lot harder because they probably already have them in production. So, right now, what they'd probably be doing is mostly software changes because they're still working on the software for both systems but they can literally change it any way the consumers want it so if, it cons if the consumers really want something whichever system can get that out first basically wins the consumer vote so it isn't over yet i just wanted to tell you guys that and just don't make your decisions yet until about like just before the, the systems come out now if you're getting both of them and that's fine like if you're getting both then you get best of both worlds kind of thing you, you have both and you guys can pre-order them but for any of you who are only going to be using one system like me because i don't have enough money for both definitely wait until it's like maybe a month or two before the system's release before you even like attempt to pre-order it because a lot of things can change and a lot of your opinions and people around you theirs will change because it's always best to play with your friends so wait till close to the end till you know what your friends are getting at least and then just kind of stick with them or try to sway them to your side if you really want because you always want to be playing with your friends when you're playing games so just reminding you guys don't rush into things and wait it out, and then buy, uh, pick your console by the end, because I'm still undecided. So uh -oh, if Microsoft has a price alert. drop, I might have to reevaluate which system I want, but I don't know yet. So thanks so much for watching, sirs. Please like, comment, and subscribe below if you have not already. And as always, have a good day.